Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Today I have a new knife from O Knife and a bunch of new torches from O Like to share with you guys and gals. We're gonna do them in a quick and orderly fashion because O Like's doing their thing. They do every year at Christmas. They have like stuff up to a bajillion percent off. Okay, yeah, it's like 45%. But we'll talk about that here in just a minute. But I just went to the website and noticed that they have the Copper Freeze 2 back in stock. And a bunch of you I know were interested in this one. So I just figured I'd give it an honorable mention that this bad boy is back on the website. All right, you ready? Let's go. This is the new O-Knife Metal. Ooh, ooh, would you look at it? And <laughs> It's all its leafiness. You know what? I really like this leaf. And I'm going to tell you something about that that it reminds me of here in just a second. But I'm going to just run through this. And first off, I'm going to tell you this thing has some awesome, awesome grip. Look at that. Look at that texture. Oh yeah, it is It is a perfect textured knife. I mean, it's right there at a perfect seven. Feels really good. This is a button lock, and you can see they have a little recessed area here for the button, which is very, very nice. Chamfered edges, so there's no sharp edges for the ergos, and it does have a reversible deep carry pocket clip. That's what I'm talking about. It has flat screws, so you don't have any mushrooms growing in the shade. This is a very nice, lightweight, everyday carry knife. Are you ready to see this blade? Let's do it. Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> Check that out. I love that blade shape. That is so very, very nice. Very nice. It kind of reminds me of a couple other knives that have came out recently. It seems like they're kind of going for this drop point. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of a drop point, but it reminds you of a spear point, but it's really not. It has a really nice looking swedge along the top. Look how clean that looks. Oh, yeah. And then going all the way down, there's your O-Knife. And this is 154 CM blade steel. And then how about a little jimping? A little bit of jimping action for you. The jimping is pretty good. I mean, it is pretty, pretty good. We'll check that out with the Ergos here in just a momento. But going all the way around, giving you a good look at this. Yeah, look at that. This is G10. You could get these in green or orange, which the orange would probably be very good if you drop your knife a lot. And there, uh, there's no question as to what the knife is. It's the metal. And then going all the way down. So this leaf shape. <laughs> so it metal reminds me of nettle. Like nettle weeds. And if uh, if you've ever touched a nettle weed, well, you know what I'm talking about. But I have a story. If you want to come to the live stream on Friday night and ask about it, I'll tell you all about it. On every Friday from 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, we have Bees Blades live at the Hive. And we have so much freaking fun and do giveaways and all that fun stuff. But I digress. So... The the fit it, the finish is really good. The fit I'm not getting. Uh, I would say one out of ten. I can kind of if I really torque it, I can feel a little bit of movement that way. Up and down, zero movement at all. And then center wise, we are centered. And look at that. You gotta have a strong tip, right? That's a strong tip. This knife overalls, uh, it's about seven and a half inches, and your blade is 3.25 inches, 18 thousandths of an inch behind the edge, which is very nice, very, very nice. Your blade stock thickness is 112 thousandths, and you want to you see how this action works? Let's check it out. So all you do is push the button, and it drops down, uh, just like that. Now, as far as your detent, it does not have the strongest detent. Now, and that's something I've noticed with button locks, you don't always get a strong detent. Because some folks, if you get a strong detent and then you get a little button stick, they're like, I don't like button stick. But yet they don't want a de weak detent. Me personally, I like it when I push the button, I get a little click. This doesn't really have that click that I am I'm learning to prefer. Because that usually means I have a little stronger detent. But you can just push this down and it just snaps right out. It comes out like an automatic. Now this would be another thing to mention. As far as jimping... There is, there are just a couple little jimps right up top here. The the thing that I would wish that it, this is a nitpick for me is give me jimping on top because when I put my finger across here like this, my finger is not hitting that jimping at all and it's not grabbing my finger to help flip it out. It's not needed because it doesn't have a strong detent. You can't still see how I just missed it there. You can't still do the light switch. And if you just bend your finger, it comes snapping out. And I do like how easy that it comes out. This is this is going to be a nice lightweight knife for, for just everyone. This is one that's going to fit anyone's hands. The Ergos, my hand's four inches, three and a half. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, it's seven and a quarter. It fits very, very nicely. Like a glove, it feels super comfortable. Neutral neutral handle, neutral ergos, so you don't have anything forcing your hand in any, any particular spot. And you see this, the size of my hand. I have a large size hand. So if your hand's smaller than that, you're still good to go. It's very comfortable. And in the traditional grip like this, this jimping works spectacular. 
very good jimping. Me, I could go for maybe just a little bit, just a hair more aggressive, but it does the trick. It holds your hand. Look at that. It just fits the hand so well. And then if you want to do some utility cutting, you're good to go, go for that. I like the blade shape of it. Um, the only thing I would say is the detent could be a little bit stronger. Now dropping it with the button, you can see there, if I don't, if I don't give it too much zest, it'll drop down. But if I if I give it too much zest, it'll come bouncing out. So that's all that's all going to be a matter of preference. But as far as a regular everyday carry knife, maybe even a work knife, this is very comfortable. It's easy to get out of out of your pocket. You can use the button to open it, cut a little bit of piece of cardboard, cut a string, cut a whatever you know tactical Twinkie box opener, and then put it back in your pocket. Very nice, very nice one to grab as you're heading out the door and put in your pocket. I really like it. The only the only nitpicks I would have was give me a little more jimping on the flipper tab, and then a little bit stronger detent would would be up my alley. Size wise, here's the QSP Penguin. Everybody should have a penguin, right? It's a tad. You get a little more, just a tad more blade and a tad more handle, and then the Civivi Elementum. It's Elementum, my dear Watson. So you see, this is the perfect size EDC knife. It's going to fit in your pocket very well. It's lightweight. It's a nice knife. I like it. It's solid. And I know right now they have the, they have them on sale for around $67. And by the way, if you're not watching this while they're having the, one of their big sales, I have 10% discount code. It's in the description of every video. So you can, if you ever want to go to Olight or Knife and get 10% off, well, there you go. Now I'm trying to always do better and always find the little nitpicks. And it's not necessarily things that you would agree with. But me personally, if I was if I was uh, the maker, <laughs> I would shrink this down and put it up here on the Ricasso up in the corner underneath the 154 CM. It would just give make for a little cleaner blade look. Look how clean that would look. And then on this side, um, I, I don't mind having the name of the knife. But maybe if you shrunk it down to about that size and then put it along right at, right at, just above the G10 here. On the Ricasso, I think that would that would make for a nice, clean-looking blade. But I, th I think the orange version of this is very nice, too. Okay, you ready to see a torch? A baby torch? Let's get it. Now, I definitely wouldn't call this an honorable mention, but this, you get free just for going to the site. And if, if you're not familiar with Olight, well, <laughs> you better get familiar. Because every time they have one of these sales, there's always a freebie. And all you have to do is go there and you get one of these. This is the i3e EOS, 90 lumens. These, I mean, who doesn't have one of these on your keychain? Are you kidding me? Um, I This is a great one. Every time they have a sale, I'll log on. And if I'm not getting something else, I'll at least get this. It's always like $5 for shipping. And even even though these knives probably cost eight, nine, 10, 12 bucks, you get, them, you get them for the price of the $5 shipping. So I think these are a great, great deal. It's a perfect little EDC knife to have on your keychain. It is a lot easier to use, a lot more accessible than getting your phone out and trying to use your phone when you already have your keys or you're trying to get in a door. It's, it holds a AAA battery. Just like that, just like that. It's it's that it's that simple. It's just a simple twist on. Who boy, it is bright, man. Their lights are so bright. And check it out. Let me get, get you up nice and close. Has a little bit of texture vision on it. Has the whole winter deal going on right now. But I just wanted to let you know about this one. And these don't even weigh. They weigh I don't know like 0 .6 0 .6 ounces, just over a half an ounce. These are sweet little lights. They are perfect to give for gifts for people. If you don't have one for yourself, well, I would say get one for yourself. And once you get one and you see how bright they are, you're like, what? Okay, let's get the next one. Now this one, <laughs> these are right up uh, my alley. This is the Olight Pirin 2 Mini. Or Mini? No, Pirin 2, yeah, Pirin 2 Mini. <laughs> <laughs> so many names, but there you go. Peering too many. All I had to do was read and look at this texture. Oh my goodness. The texturing that they do on their lights is just mwah. <laughs> Mrs. B's does that all the time. Mwah. But it's simple operation. And you know, what's really, really cool about this. It has the right angle design is because you can put this on the head strap that comes with it. And this head strap has a little, you don't have to take the pocket clip off. You could just put this on here pull it over, and then you have a head strap. And the, you talk about convenient. You can move it up and down depending on where you have it on your head or your hat or you're working. This is awesome. Now, something else I've done with this strap, the strap, it, it comes off fairly easily. You can put this on the mollies. If you have a backpack, you can put this on your backpack on the strap, either direction. And also, these two, these two uh, strap holders will go onto the mollies of your backpack, and you can have it like this on your strap, or sideways and facing as you walk and you don't even have to hold the light. 
And you want to hear something really, really cool about this light is, well, besides the weight, this weighs absolutely nothing. And in case I didn't show you well enough before, this just comes over and just straps, grabs a hold of it just like that. And it, by the way, <laughs> I'm getting excited. Here's the Pirin 2. This is one of my faves. I use this all the time. So this would be the, the baby. There's the Pirin 2 and the Pirin 2 Mini. I'll show them next to each other here in just a second, but I definitely, I grabbed that one. I was like, oh, I gotta show it, gotta show it. This little dude goes up to 1100, 1100 lumens. It has the moonlight and then the low, medium, and high modes. It has the double directional pocket clip. So you can put this bad boy on the brim of your hat. And this is, uh, I love headlamps. I love, I like, I love lamp. <laughs> I love lamps, lamps, torches, lights. I like the ones that I can put on the brim of my hat or ones that I can wear in a headband because it gives you hands free. And a lot of times, a lot of the things I do, I need light, whether I'm out in the garage, working out in the yard, or if I'm working in the shop, in the basement, down in the hive, doing things on knives and I need some extra light and I want it right where I'm working. But it's super simple. All you do is hold it down and there, there's your, uh, wait a minute, that's not even, yeah, that's low. And then hold it down, medium, high. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. So when you turn it off, when you just hold and press, that's moonlight mode, all right? And then when you hold and go through low, medium, high, that's when you're 1100. Double tap it, or double tap's probably for torch. Look at this, double tap. It's even brighter. <laughs> I mean, I could feel the heat on my hand right now. It is crazy. Now check out, this is something really cool about this. When I'm getting night crawlers to go fishing, I like a red light, you double tap it. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. The red, light, the red light is 40 lumens, and while it's on 40 lumens, if you hold it down, it'll go into a strobe feature. And if, you, if you're sensitive to strobes, don't look at the moment. <laughs> but it goes into an SOS. So if you're walking your dog and you want something to get attention for traffic when you're walking, you know, against oncoming traffic, that strobe feature is very, very nice. And of course, just like the other O-lights, the regular size like this and, and up, it has the easy charge. It comes with the charger. If you have your charger plugged in, all you got to do is get it near your charger and it connects and you're, you're good to go. It's charging, baby. Once you get used to one of these lights that has such a strong magnet on it, uh, for an example, these are back in stock. I just saw these. I had to grab this one out. This is the O-Knife Zilla. Absolutely love it. You can walk, go watch my video on this bad boy. But look at this. You could set it You could set it on something and point it whichever direction. I'm not going to spin it. I don't want to scratch it up, right? <laughs> not prematurely. But you can, you can have this face in any direction. Or if you have metal or what I do with my flashlights, I have a metal shelf over right there. I have them all hanging upside down because they stick right to the right to the uh, shelf. So there is the Pirin 2 Mini. You ready for the next one? Here we go. And those, those Pirin 2s, in case I didn't say, they're running or I think right around 45 bucks. This is the newest color. Check that out. <laughs> the Baton 3. One of my favorite O-lights for EDC, for everyday carry, or for you put in one of your packs. I absolutely love this. If you watch the live streams, you have seen me flash this many, many times. And one of the cool things is it doesn't come with this charger. This would be the premium package. By itself, these are running around the $45 mark. And these things get up, they're all, they go from three, they go from 12 to 60 to 300 to 1200 lumens. 1200 on turbo mode. And this thing is super bright. And look at this. It has that, I mean, I can't get over the texture. They nailed this. It's not sharp. It is perfect. I mean, I love it. Love it. It has the indicator here for your charge. Hold it down. Same thing with the other ones. There's your moonlight, and then you can go through low, medium, high. Double tap it. Pow! <laughs> oh, mama. I love turbo mode. <laughs> turbo mode. I mean, you can light up your backyard with this bad boy. Now, if you get the knife just by itself, and by the way, all of these things that I've showed you, there are bundles where you can get, for a couple bucks more, you get something that's worth $10, $15. That's how, that's how they always get you, is they have all these awesome bundles. And I would recommend you check out the bundles, but if you find, like, say you like this one, you're like, oh, bees, I got to get that. Before you get it, check out the bundle button of what you can add to it because you, I'm telling you, you won't regret it. But this has the same type of charger and it also sticks to anything iron, you know, anything metal like that. It has the two directional clip. Absolutely love it. And I love the fact that they're rechargeable, that I don't have to buy batteries for them. Now, here's the thing. If you get the premium, um, see, these are right, running around 45, but if you get, I think they're in the 60s, 60 something, you'll get this plus the, now you're not going to get the red, white, and blue. You're not going to get this. Right now, I believe they have the really pretty uh, red, like the aluminum red color that looks like that, and then they have a black one. But what it is, is you, you keep it in here and... 
Instead of having one charge, with this you get three and a half charges. So when you're done, and this is what I keep mine in. So when you're done using it, you just pop it back in here and you'll know if you're charged. It'll keep you charged. Right now, this, this thing needs charged. But this is such an awesome thing to have. I would recommend if you can spend a few extra bucks to get the charger. You're not going to get the red, white, and blue one like this. But see there? It says that I'm fully charged. So you're going you're gonna to get three and a half chargers. You're not going to have to charge forever. And when you do charge it, you'll just plug this into a USB-C. And you're going to be good to go for a long time. But yes, I do. I am very familiar with this ni knife. <laughs> see, I, can't, I always have to say knife. But I love the Baton 3. It is a perfect, perfect everyday carry EDC light to put in your backpack. Have next to your workbench. You know, you already know what I'm talking about. So I just wanted you to see this new color. I do love that green and white. All right, here we go. Now, if you already have an i3T, this is nothing. This is not the light that I'm going to show you. But I wanted to show you this one that I've carried so much. The function of them, you can just hold the button down for the light, click it again, and you're on high. They work so well. This is one of those one of those lights, one of those torches that you see when people are taking pictures of all their EDC gear. It is it is just one of those lights that. That I, I don't know. Doesn't everyone have one? You can get the regular ones like this for around 15 bucks. Takes one AAA, but check out this Primo version that they just came out with. Now these run around, like I said, around 15. This is the new, new, <laughs> new and improved, the i3T carbon fiber. <laughs> yeah, would you look at it? My camera never loves to focus on carbon fiber. It's like, dude, what are you doing to me? But this is very, very lightweight. It's very attractive. And putting them up next to each other, just to give you a good idea of what it looks like. You can see it has, it's the same size. It has the same function as that one. You can, you don't have to click the button, but it, it is very tactile, very clicky. There's a little bit of texture on the back of the button. You just click it, you're on low. Click it again, you're on high. It's that simple. Not a bunch of stuff to memorize. And you, and if you just want to turn the light on, you can just push down. You don't have to click. Click again. See, I'm, I'm just pushing down, pushing down again. There's just two modes. It's a super simple everyday carry light. And you could click it if you want it to stay there or click it to move down. Isn't, I mean, this is very, very cool. So if you're a big fan of carbon fiber, this is going to be right up your alley. And these right now, these are running, I think, around 35 bucks for the carbon fiber. And these, I believe they weigh around 41 grams or one and a half ounces. Super nice, lightweight, everyday carry light. So there's the O-Knife Metal, the I3EOS, the I3E EOS, the Pirin 2, and I put it next to the, the Pirin 2 Mini. I put it next to the Pirin 2 so you can get a good idea for size reference. And then you have the Baton 3, and then the I3T, oh yeah, and the carbon fiber. So I hope you enjoyed checking all these out. I will definitely put links in the description to the other knives that I showed you that I know that they're available. Sometimes things aren't available because when they have these sales, everything sells very quickly. But there's links in the description probably links in the comments hope you'd enjoy checking all this stuff out to go watch this video until i see you again in the live streams or the chats or at the hive streams on friday nights remember live life in the present keep a band-aid handy and don't cut yourself